On a hunch, I gave Kittle Flows these three images. They're just screenshots from landing pages of websites I really like. And then I connected them all to one smart board and asked it to generate a concept for a furniture brand. And it gave me this like really, really good because now in Kittle, you can connect multiple artboards to one smart board and basically ask the AI to merge, change, fix, concept, multiple boards together and it worked. So let's dive in and show you exactly how it works. So here we are in Kittle and I have these three screenshots. They're just from three different website providers of which I like a lot. I personally like Squarespace a ton, but I just want to grab like the hero image because I was just wondering, I'm not, I'm not using these for any specific thing. Obviously not sponsored by any of these things. I just like their hero images. I think they do a great job. So I just screenshotted Squarespace, screenshotted Wix, and this one is called Webflow. And then you can see all three of them are attached to one smart board over here. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So don't go anywhere yet. And all I said was take these three references and create a new landing page for a fun furniture brand in a similar style. And this looks really cool. I mean, I definitely get the sense that it took a lot of the stacked or risen elements from here. It took kind of some of the colors and the layout from this one, and then took some of the like uh, color for the buttons and, and uh, the general style from this one down here, the web flow, and it merged to create one really cool concept. Now, obviously I'm kind of starting backwards from this because I would really want to know like what my products look like and things like that, but it was just a hunch and I wanted to see if it would work and it's given me a lot Lot more ideas for how I can merge stuff together and I want to show you something really really cool about smart boards after you've generated something like this and maybe you want to take certain components for it but I've left you hanging quite a long time so far let me show you exactly how to do what I did so I'm just gonna draw a new artboard let's say we just keep them all as squares and uh, in my example we need three right so I'm going to create these three boards right here and over in the the images let's just say we take um i don't know let's say we take let's see we want to do this plant uh maybe we do this one and this one and then we need to let's just type in plants and let's say yep we like this one why not so we're gonna put this here and then let's find one more let's say we really like this one put this guy right here because all I'm doing is really showing you how it works. And then what we're going to do is from this starting board up here, or really any of them, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to click this little arrow right here, which will create a smart board. And so if I click that, boom, there is the smart board. You can see the prompt over here, which you can change to Nana Banana or ChatGPT or whatever you want. And I'm going to select this one. And now instead of, you can see if I hover over the arrow, it is going to create a new smart board. If in fact, I click and drag. I can drag the smart board into this one. You see how it snaps to the other one? Now, both of these images are going to feed into the same artboard. And then I just repeat one more time, select this artboard, go down to this arrow, click and drag, and boom. Now all three of these are going to this one smart board. And you can see over here, there are these three. Now at the moment, this kind of style of doing multiple artboards into one smart board really needs to use chat GPT image one. Um, you could try using Nano Banana, but right now we're still fine tuning it to use all the different models. And let's just say create a collage of different plants like this in a setting where they are sitting on a marble staircase use similar colors sure and we're gonna leave that as one by one and while that is working on that generation because it does take a little bit of a, of time when you're using a chat gpt image one i'm gonna show you something really cool so let's say for whatever reason i, I know that this is like a very interesting you know idea because all i did was just ask it to create a new concept and so this would be like right at the beginning right at concepting or strategizing what your hero image might look like. But let's say I just really like some of this furniture. Like I like them as elements and maybe I want to use them as brand elements. Well, what I can do is I can add a smart board and then I'm going to switch this one actually to Nana Banana because I don't really need to take a lot of time for this. And what I'm going to say is extract the orange chair so that I can use it 
by itself. So I just want this orange chair. I don't want any of this other stuff. And I honestly don't need this board to be this big. So I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to hit generate and I could keep going. I could select this one and like go, you know, I could do a whole bunch more and, and start doing all the different chairs and stuff like that. But I just want to see if it'll give me the chair. And while that's generating, we can check this out down here. So look, it definitely took the concept of this plant, uh, the concept of these plants, the concept of this plants, and it merged them all together where I can now just convert this to an image and I can use it whenever and however I want. Isn't that super, super cool? Let's go back up here. Boom. There it is. It's exactly what I wanted. Convert this to an image. Now, obviously it did put it on a background. That's okay. I can just remove the background from here. And now I've got my little chair. Isn't that cool? Now I have my little element that I could use and I could keep doing this over and over again. And I could make this one a little bit smaller and let's say extract. I like the word extract because it knows that I need to take something away from the generation. Extract the small red chair so that I can use it by itself. Boom. I'm going to let that generate for a second. But just so you get another idea, I could also, and I'm just wondering this now, do this with design to kind of concept or come up with another design style. Now, obviously, I'm thinking already, oh, look, that was really fast. Let me go ahead and convert that to an image, remove the background. Like, I didn't even have time to like give you another point because look at that. That is so, so cool. I love that. I love this feature about Kittle Flows that you can just kind of extract stuff from different images. Um, back to the web design type thing now. I mean, just imagine you could give it like two wireframes or you could give it a wireframe and then an actual landing page that you like, merge it into one smart board and then have it craft something using elements that you like in a wireframe or a, or a layout that you really like. But as I was getting ready to say, I could also do this with like design concepts, right? So let's just say we want to take, I don't know, let's just say we want to take a couple of different vintage design layouts. So maybe we like this one a lot. I'm just going to drag these over to the side. Maybe we like this one a lot. Put this over here. And maybe we like this one. A little bit of a more, uh, it's still kind of vintage, but it, maybe it's a little bit more modern. And we're going to put these all on their own separate boards, which I can just go and I can grab this. And if I draw an artboard, by the way, over top, you see how it's starting to contain all of these? If I just make it over this whole thing, it now this is on the artboard. It's actually kind of a neat little, a neat little hack there and then I'm just gonna get rid of that drag this one on here so that we have this here I don't need to really be that precise with it because I'm just gonna put this in smart boards so here we go let's do the same thing add a smart board select this artboard now I'm gonna drag and drop okay I'm gonna grab this one drag and drop and now I'm not gonna be creating anything that's necessarily editable but I want to try to figure out a layout that I like I'm just I just learned about this literally today I don't even know if most of the company knows that you can drag multiple boards into one smart board. So I'm going to say something like come up with a new vintage text layout using different vintage font styles and compositions to provide a unique. Yeah, I don't want to keep using the same layout term, but that's really what it is, a unique design for a leather company called, let's see, let's come up with something really, really <laughs> generic. What's like What's a like cool like idea, idea for idea leather? leather? Like, like, like cow comes to mind, that's, that's, that's just too on the nose. I'm not going to say cow is a leather company. No, we need to go with something more like unique, like... I don't know. I want to do something with smart board because we're using a smart board. So let's say like smart. Oh, I don't know. Smart leather is not cool. <laughs> it's not cool sounding. Uh, dang, I'm really drawing a blank here. <laughs> smart grain right like the grain of the leather anyway okay so yeah we're on ChatGPT image one like i said you could try nano banana but it's not really going to give you the results that you want it really needs to take a little bit more time and to do kind of similar to what i did here i want to take this image actually let me move this out of the way i don't need it so i'm gonna do another one here i am gonna switch it back to nano banana because i want to extract extract the small oops i spelled small wrong succulent 
plant so I can use it by itself so that you can get the idea of like all of the different kinds of things you can do with smart boards and flows and connecting things together. I mean, just the sheer amount of ideas and the sheer amount of time that I will be doing a bunch of look at that. Ah, oh, there it is. Perfect. It's exactly what I want. I could have even been more specific about the cactus, but now I can convert this to an image, remove the background. Again, I don't really care that it's small because now I can size it up, right? And if it's not quite the resolution I want, I could just upscale it if I need to. But I think for the purposes of what I'm doing, you know, I can go on and do whatever I want with it. I can start removing all of the different assets from this, or like I could generate another staircase or what have you. Okay. All right. So let's go back down here. So now we have an idea that is a little little bit different than all three of these and like I said you could convert this to an image and then remove the background and then you have your text by itself that is one way to do it um, and if you wanted to like change the color and stuff I could go here and vectorize it now it still wouldn't necessarily be like editable anymore right after this uh, but it would be vector and so that you could do it but what I like about this is that now I can just kind of start formulating my own design because this is a these are all editable pieces I'm just gonna ungroup all of these now I know for example that this one can be smart grain in the middle okay and then let's see I'm just gonna delete this for a second let's see move this down then this is gonna be leather co need to expand this okay make this one a little bit smaller and then this is going to be ESTD 1987 Okay, great. We don't need the script font. This is going to be trademark. It's just really cool because it's giving me ideas now and then I can go in and change all of the sizes and things like that to be similar. And I could change the, the text as well. Like this is more of a sans serif kind of style font. So I could go over here and I can actually type in heritage to see all of our heritage type fonts, which is what I want. And I can go in here and change them to different things. So like for example, yeah, maybe we want this one to be modern hand sans. We also want this one to be modern hand sands and we want to get rid of that take this one this one's going to be genuine and we want to size this up a bit and yeah this looks more rounded and serif so i'd want to go and like try to find so for example these guys i'm going to take all this one then we're going to go up here to serif and we're going to find something that's a little bit i would say softer so these are a little bit more of a softer kind of rounded serif whereas these are a little bit more sharp um so let's say if we try this one uh and then we need to turn them to yeah that's that's not exactly right but it's it's similar uh let's grab both of these again and this one Let's go back and see if we can find another one that's a little bit more close. No, let's see here. English Town will be too tall. Let's see, Garrisol. Oh, that one's kind of cool. But you could go through and you could find one that you think fits most accurate to what you're trying to do. And I'll just go with, let's say, not quite. Let's just go with this for the time being. It's okay. I'm not super, super concerned about it. And we can always keep changing these and making them better. So here we go. And then we want this to be on a curve. So we want it to be on a slight arch like that, which I can do with my transformation. And I could go through here and I could make more tweaks to this. A lot of our fonts are variable, so I can make them thicker or thinner. Same thing here. Maybe we want this to be a little bit thicker we want it to be a little bit smaller also fine and so this is just a cool way i think to get interesting designs from taking concepts that already exist i mean you could do this with three t-shirt designs you could do this with whatever you want and you could kind of ask it like hey I'm, i want to create a different style i think it leaned heavily on these two things with a slight arch from here but like and maybe these are a little bit all too similar but i think it's a cool idea to take three things and merge them into maybe it's an image maybe it's a concept for a website maybe it's a design for your brand or a t-shirt design or whatever it is but you let me know in the comments what do you think about this this is just like kind of blowing my mind that it's even possible because i just tried it on a whim to see if it would work and it really surprised me and i really want to know what you all think i want to know what you're testing and trying out in kittle flows i want you to try nana banana i want you to try chat GPT 
image one with flows connecting boards together and yeah let me know what you think down in the comments and if you haven't tried kittle yet you can find the link to sign up down in the description super easy to get in and if you have a free plan and you're thinking like you know it's looking like it might be for you there's a discount code down there for you to use as well for a percentage off your first purchase your first subscription price so again go try it out come back comment let me know what you think let me know what you tried and i will see you in the next video